Hello everyone for the 3.2 Harvest League uh, build that we're going to be playing. So this is going to be the day one, which will be Friday. This video will come out about three hours before the league start happens. Hopefully I know what build I'm playing by the time the league drops. Right now I'm in between two builds. I'll link both uh, where they both these builds came from in the description below so you can read them. So right now we're in between two builds. So I we're either we're going to be playing... Um, Inky's Ark build, since I never played Ark as a League Starter. I've only played Ark as a Burial far uh, burial Chambers uh, Farmer. Or we can go back and play in the Freeze, uh, Freeze Paul's Totem, which we did back in Metamorph League. And we it got to maps, red maps very quickly, just it sucked against bosses. Because a lot of times I just wasn't paying attention. So the first build... There we go. Split clusters. There we go. So the first build is anyone who's seen Enki's, it's the most popular build that's out there right now. Pretty much his build, based on red, can clear the game. We're gonna we're gonna do a test run of the, of the build today for about three, four hours to see how it does against bosses. So that's one thing I'm worried about the most. So he has a very detailed guide. I'll should actually show it right now so you can see it. So Inky's arc build is very well known. I'm gonna get this one over. There we go. So this is Inky's arc build. I'll link this in the description below. He's actually still updating it right now. With the um, since a lot of people are asking about like is is arc still the best one? Is it best to go with the new skill arc skill? Which one to go with? So people he's still figuring it out. But his script, his build is very well known as a league starter based on my red backs, but he did change senses, it looks like, in the past. Since in the past it was Elementalist and now it's a Necromancer. So it's pretty much very like the, the path of buildings in here, the pros, the cons, before you start, how you level. Like the, uh, what your sentency order to take, the pathogens, it's all in here. Like he explains the sentence, like normal, cruel, Pathogen is the main major in the minors. Gem setup when you first start the game. Which gems you want to focus on between all the, the sets. Uh, even gear 2 is in here. Gear is the one thing of this build. It's a lot of rares though. So if you are not the best at the rares, this build might be a little tricky if you're more better on uniques. So this build does do a lot of crafting. Looks like with crit and adding... Not a crit is and a lot of spell damage is on this build. This option is really for you if you want to. There's a lot of life also on this gear. He talks about like different options to go with. The bone helm is your best helm in the game to get. This is the early one. These are usually pretty cheap on League Start. Bone helms are really are more expensive though on League Start, so you got to be careful with that. So like the gloves, like he explains everything on there. It's gonna be a while if I go through every little thing, but like early game, late game, what to get one up on set. Worms, these are tricky to find early on though, so it's better to wait. What jewels to go for, what the healthy mine. These usually are not that bad at priced. Tells you what the nerf that happened to Archmage. Thread of Hope is expensive early on though, so you should be careful with this one. And Watcher's Eye is getting nerfed though this league. So we'll have to see how this does, if this is still going to be used or not. Because Watcher's Eye did get hit pretty hard. And then it's like, explains more, it's... There's a lot to this guide. It's better just to read if you want to than me trying to explain it. But then, like, also it has like what uh, to upgrade if you want to upgrade like what gear. The tray link section. What to do against bosses, maps, map mods to avoid. It goes on. There's a lot of stuff in here. So either we're gonna try to do a a leak start with this, and he explains also in the path of building, like Act One what path to take. When we get to Act 2, he expands it. And it goes through all the way up to 10. So once you complete Act 10, that's what your tree should look like. And then once you hit like level 80, 90, 100, 90 with clusters, 100 with clusters, if you can be able to get the the cluster jewels. And then we get to 100 with the cluster jewels, you add the second half. It's You probably won't get 100 those, you might get around 90, which is more common. So I mean, you probably can change around this to get this early on if you want it. 
a lot of it too is just based on like preference. I never played his build, but I've heard a lot of people have said his build is extremely well. And it's already hitting for 1.2 million. I just gotta see with Ark though how it does against bosses, since that's the only thing I'm worried about. Because in the past, I've always known Ark to be more um, faster map clear. Just that's me the trickiest thing to see. So a lot of it's gonna depend too on that too, and like what gears. Because he has like that, but this is not the easiest to go off of. So a lot of it too is you have to look into it more. I look into this more to see how it's gonna play, how fast does it get to maps. Because like, can it get the map day one? It's always by anything. Day two, can it clear all the. So usually by by Sunday night, I try to be on red maps. So I want to have all whites done, yellows done the most I can. Red's about done. Hopefully have most of my gear done by Sunday is what I try to always aim for since everything's usually pretty easy to get day one. So if we decide this build is not good when I test it tonight, our other option is going to be going back to the totem build, which I played back in um, Metamorph League when they first changed Atlas, so I had no idea what I was doing, but no one really did. So this build also is like Enkis, it's the exact same thing. This will eventually get updated to 3.12. And I'll show you his also. He's someone I've used in the past. His build does do very well. This does get to red maps, or this does get maps extremely quick. And this also does get through white and yellow maps pretty quick. It's just the bosses, like Cyrus and the Conquerors, that's when you start to notice problems. Usually around the mid red map. It's like tier. 14, 15, you'll start to notice problems. Especially with the especially with um the nerf to curses. This was gonna make this build very difficult now. And the DPS, don't look at this. This number's screwed up. It's because there's no gear on here yet. Like the it's known what you're like, you know, you're using Soul Mantle, you're using uh Kikazaku's double rank early on, you're using a lot of stuff early on is known. So pretty much it goes in here, like skills, all your skills you're gonna use, how you're gonna use everything. Uh, you take a, a era. This is not, this should be on here, but it's not yet. Freezing pulse totems. So pretty much you just right click your totems and use it with soul mantle. So I'll show you his build now. I've used his build in the past. It does work very well. It's just you have to be used to it. So this is his build. Um, Wallox, he does very well with this build. It's I've seen him play the build. I know this build can do... I played this build even back in the day when I didn't know what was going on. And then pretty much the build... The pretty much all you really do is on day one, you want to try to get... I'll show you actually an air faster. So anyone who's not used to the to totem builds, pretty much... There's a gear. You want to get fast as possible is get a soul mantle. This is the own this is how your build mainly works. You need a five socket soul mantle is what I used in Metamorph League and it did everything perfect. Except for high level, I never got the six link, so that was like its problem. Because since this already gives you a spell totem, you just run freezing pulse and anything that boosts is cold. And you also can change out freeze pulse for um I could look again, but it's been a while since I played this build, but there's a single target skill you can put on that helps with this build. And it works for like bosses instead. But you also do need to get this. The, Kikizaku rings because it's needed with the build. So the rings, you need these rings because of the 40% reduced effect on you. So with two of these rings, that's 80%. And then with the skill tree right here is the other uh, 20%. So this is 100% reduce of curses on you. So when you reduce the curses, you end up, all you really do is soul mantle is you hold down right click. This will uh, make your totems, you average really between four to five totems with this build. Sometimes six even. And pretty much every time you right click your totem, so when you summon a totem so that the next one dies, you get a curse on you. And now with the changes, you only get nine curses instead of the, the 13 from the past, which is with them changing it to hexes. So with this one, you now, you do well do less damage overall, but to get 13 curses, it was extremely rare. I rarely did it when I played this build. Because you sit there, you have a couple seconds, you have to run, do it, it's a pain in the ass. So 9 is more reasonable what you end up doing. But it's pretty much you end up doing more damage. You wear your totems. Curses don't hurt you. So you all your curses you're casting yourself don't mean anything. Because ideally with this build is what you would do is day 1. Buy this the minute you can. And then get these rings. These rings are usually 1 2 chaos. Even day 1. Even through all the months. It's extremely cheap. This 
It is usually around, I think, the 5 to 10 chaos day one, but it's very easy to get day one. Especially 5 second with the um, the prophecy. That's what you'll probably end up doing. And then pretty much the other thing you need to get also right after that is in Act 5, you need to make sure there is, you get a first snow. So you're going to end up picking up your first snow as your quest reward, and then buy a first snow right after that. The first snow should be about 2 chaos maybe. Even a good decent roll one, the 10%. Buy a second one, this will increase your damage by crazy. So with this one, you'll be your freezing pulses will be doing five five pulses per shot. And you think you times that by the four totems, that's twenty pulses per second. And it's a stu it's extremely stupid amount of damage. And that's what makes getting the map so simple. And then you also make sure you get a self flagrant. You can buy these pretty these are costly in the beginning because you do have to if you do want to get these, grab a gem. I believe it's the green, the dex ones have a higher chance, if I'm correct on these. And then Valet, and you have a chance of getting one of these. 20% is the highest, I think 10% is the lowest. You do want this, because this will pretty much increase your damage by 180%. And then also get a clear mind. You can wait on this, this is no... This is pretty much like the last thing you'll get. This is, gives you mana regeneration, so it does help too, a lot. Especially it makes you go a lot quicker. And then the Cluster Jewels, I... Cluster Jewels early on are a huge problem. I've noticed because last week I tried doing carry golems, like focusing on Cluster Jewels, and it was a bad idea. I did that, and I just completely destroyed my build doing it. Got the maps extremely quick, but my build fell apart because of this. A lot of it, too, is the difference between the two builds I'm looking at right now is totems. It is boring because you just right-clicking, run, 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 right-click, run. They die, okay, move on. It's like playing uh, Summoners. Arc is pretty much right-click and dodge it. You do have to, with the, um, this build, you don't have to be as, you don't have to really pay much attention against, but against bosses, you do have to pay a lot of attention. And the arc is the same thing. You need to pay, you need to know the boss mechanics very well. And I'm not the best with Cyrus. I am learning. I'm, I can do Cyrus on Awakener 8. It just takes me time. And I did find out last week, finally, how to do Cyrus perfect, uh, the correct way by, sadly enough, by watching Quinn 69's, uh, first Awakener 8 build. That's why I sort of learned the mechanic. Because if Quinn can do it, anyone pretty much can do it. Because his builds are zero DPS builds. And then pretty much it explains. He's, his builds also, just like Enki's, it's like very well explained. I would recommend his as a league starter. You can probably can change things around with it. Because I don't even people talked about, like, you go through the forms, like, he's very in here. Like, what different things are. He's very, like, he answers questions in here. So he knows a lot about this build. He does play this build every league, so he's very knowledgeable, knowledgeable in this. Even he, like when Path, like he's changing it right now, he's talking about the changes. He'll probably end up adding Sniper Mark in here once we get more an idea how it works. He explains it too, like with the Whispers of Doom changing, this how it works with Curse on Hit now. So it, and it applies Hexes now, so it, a lot of changes come. So he's between the two builds right now I'm looking at, it just depends really, because even like skill, Skill items depends. Like, just shows you like what order you go in, and like you're not using this. How to, like the equip, because like even early on he says like you don't have to go total like, cold totems. You go to fire totems. Like I'll show you in here. So like in here it shows like Act One. You know, just go this way, click this. Then we get to like Act Two. You can switch this. I don't know why there's three of these. To be honest, it makes no sense. It's just different versions. Oh, so he has he's already getting up to like three point twelve. But then, like, Act 2, he shows you, like, you know, go this way, start going through here, get your fire damage going. Because in the beginning of the game, you go fire instead of cold. And you switch to cold when you get the Soul Mantle set up. But then he explains every single act, you know, Act 10 with the fire set off. Act 10, if you switch to Freezing Pulse, when you that's when you have to pretty much have your first colds. Your snow, uh, first snow, I mean. So first snow, you don't really need until you beat the game. So you do have plenty of time, and it's not the main focus. I would focus on getting, like... Probably Soul Mantle first, then pick up the second one of these. Because everyone's going to have these. There's no. Everyone's going to. It's very common. And then, like, it shows in here, like, Act 10, like, when you switch, what to do. If you have no clusters, level 95, even, like, which way to go before you start getting all this? Like, before you start getting your uh, increased effects, Auroras, your damn penetration, which is extremely good, your more damage, your chance to blind. Your whispers of doom if you go this route. I mean, a uh, wish of death. I mean, 
uh, master of fear, your your chill. Like, enemies chilled by your shot can shock, and shocking can chill. Increase your elemental damage of stuff. Chaos resistance, which is extremely important. You're more life. Life is the biggest thing of this build. Because life is the one thing you'll struggle with. I think you end up about four to 5,000, I think, life I'm correct on this build. But yeah, this is your main thing. Because this will give you one plus totem. So you start with your chest is another plus totem. Your shield's another plus totem. And when you use the shaper. And also in here, it tells you like when you go late game. Here you go. High budget. This is your high budget shield. It is a Zeri's Reflection, which is usually around 10 to 20 exalts. But it does help you a lot too, because once you get this, you can finally get rid of your ring. You can finally get rid of those Kikizaki rings. And that gives you two more slots of resistance and damage and everything. So it does help a tremendous amount. Then that's when you switch over to like the Essence Warm with your Hatred set up. And that's when you just get this for life. This is your, you push all your decks into is that ring. So that's when you would just get a high dex ring with resistance. And then that's at the point also you can finally put on a Coward's Legacy also. So that's the problem is you can't really get Coward's Legacy and the Essence Warm until you have the Zuri Reflection. So if I do it and I'm going this build, we'll go to the cheap route. Getting the um, Soul Mantle, the Rings, the Frost Snow all day one. And then, all, then finish from day two through... Over that whole first week, we're just going to farm exalts to get a Zeri's Reflection. Usually, I can get a good amount of exalts going with the Chaos Recipe day one because I just farm the crap out of it usually. So, I'll be playing solo be a little bit quicker. And I do have my new computer finally coming in, so that should help a tremendous amount of the graphics. So, everyone can actually watch instead of it looking pretty bad like it does right now, even when I'm looking at the Streamlab thing. But that's pretty much what we're going to focus. If we play this build, you know, this is pretty easy to get. This is expensive. This is, so alone, you're almost looking at about 15, 20 exalts between these two. Watcher's Eye is going to be the questionable mark. We might go this, might not. It's just That's going to depend. And also, eventually, we'll have to get the fun projectile damage, which is going to be a pain in the ass. And then you have powers and all that fun mumbo jumbo stuff. So that's pretty much the, with this video. It's with these in between my two builds. I should know tomorrow. We'll, go, we'll be streaming tomorrow, hopefully within before we start actually you know build on playing so I can have it all set up. Because whatever build on playing I'm going to have ready to go in here. If I do play this spell, I'm going to fill this all in. Like, Because I mean, it's pretty simple. Because I mean, this is like you're looking at Soul Man. So your rings, your rings. Like alone, this is your main part. And DPS number is screwed up on this. But pretty much like that's your main like three things you're going for. And then once... You go to high game, that's when you can get the series reflection on, you get all that fun stuff. So it depends really between the two builds. I've done this one in the past, but I've never, let me see if it actually should be like that. And I've never done this build. So this is the only thing I'm worried about because his build uses this now. Because in the past it was, he was playing Elementalist, but he recently changed to this just for the life regen because of the essence gluten and the Corpse Pack, I think, and Mistress, I think you use these ones. So we'll see which one works better. Sorry there. So we'll see between the two which one works better. It's going to depend really too and what I feel more comfortable with. Just getting through maps and bosses. So right, that's right, I'm going to cut this video. I'll have this video going up tomorrow at noon, so three hours before League starts so everyone can watch it and then catch me in, uh, on stream on Twitch. We'll be streaming whenever we play. You're more than welcome to stop by, say hi, give your input to and what build you're playing. Always willing to look. I don't know what builds I, uh, a lot of the streamers are playing. I haven't really heard. I know MBX, I think, is in between two builds. I think he's in between playing this build, actually, but except not doing not doing Arc, doing the new... Um, I forgot the name of the build, but the one that's like the Arc with the lightning in the middle. Or he's going to be doing the... Um, Vortex, I don't want to. I play Vortex and I've had experience with it. So, yeah, it's either we play this or Totems, depending on which one we want to just push currency with. Since the beginning of the game is all about just me farming currency quickly so we can start playing some fun builds. Because I really do want to do a Void Spear this, this league. So, it looks fun just dropping Void Spears running, watching everything get sucked in. A lot of it depends too on how Heist League works. We'll have to figure that one out too. So, I'm going to stop. I'm going to 
been to almost 20 minutes now. I'm going to stop the video here and go try out the, uh, this build for now. At this build, I don't like it. We'll be doing Totem for sure. So I'll link both of these builds in the description so you can look at them and where everything comes from. And if anyone is, hope to see, everyone has a good leak star. Hope you guys find exalts. And I hope someone finds a mirror watching this. That's the one thing, maybe the coolest thing to find. That's the one thing I never found. And then I hope everyone has a good leak star and I hope to see everyone on the stream.